they came after my family. So they arrested my brother and my cousin who had nothing to do with the work I was doing as a journalist. Uh, but as a repressor, they just came after them uh, because uh, they know how the Eritrean society operate, you know. So for my mother, it was all the same, you know, whether I went to jail or my brother or my cousin, it is all the same. So it was very, very painful experience. So my brother was arrested for two years. They didn't file any charge against him. He was not brought to any court. Uh, even my cousin, the same thing. He was arrested for two years and he was not charged. So uh, my brother and my cousin is, were the first victim. But what happened to my wife is also really worse. She was interrogated by the national security and she was asked to present the list of my friends either social friends or work friends. And she was asked, you know, to uh, provide the documents that they were not able to find in my office when they shut down the newspaper. And she told them, you know, she knew nothing about this. She was uh, supposed to go to the police station twice a week for about six months. Uh, simply to answer those uh, tribal questions. And it was very, very painful for him. Uh, even when I came here, uh, okay, of course they didn't arrest her, but the psychological pressure, trauma that they put on her was worse than that because she had three young children to look after. And she is a teacher, she is also, uh, she has also to work and uh, she had so many uh, isolation from the social uh, network because they were afraid. Uh, he never stopped writing or criticizing the Eritrean region. So whatever I do here, so it impacted her negatively.